Hey, what is up, Internet? Welcome back to another video. My name is Chris Diaz. For those of you who don't know me, I am a compositor and CG generalist working in the film and television industry. And today I'm going to show you how to point track in After Effects and Nuke and kind of talk a little bit about how they each do things differently. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing so that you never miss out on any sweet, sweet VFX tips. And without further ado, let's jump right in. OK, so here we are in Nuke and I've already loaded in some footage from pexels.com. It's just a clip of this living room and I am gonna track the corner of this frame. So I'm gonna go to the beginning. I'm gonna add a tracker node, double click on it. I am going to add a track right at the corner. Okay, and now I'm gonna track forward. Nuke is gonna do its thing. There we go, it's done. So now I'm going to create a transform match move. So it gives me my transform with all my tracking information. And now I'm going to read in something to uh, put in there. I'm gonna read in this circle, okay? And of course I have to merge it in. So I'm going to put it over my B plate, which is my background. And as you can see, we have our circle in there, but we want it to be tracked. So all we have to do is put our transform node in between them. And there you go, it's tracked in. Obviously, we want to scale it down and move it into place and do what we need to do here. So I'm gonna just bring this guy down and I'm gonna put it, put it over there. So there we go. So that's how easy it is to do a point track and nuke. Very fast, not that much different than After Effects. Uh, let's jump into After Effects though and see how quickly we can do it there. Okay, so here we are in After Effects, same project, same clip. We're gonna do all the same things that we need to do. So I'm gonna create a new null. This is gonna be our tracker. I'm gonna select my footage. I'm gonna go to my tracker window, track motion, and I'm going to adjust my tracking point to the same spot. I don't need it that big. And oh, uh, what did I do there? Okay, there we go. Track forward. And it is also going to do its thing. Very similar to Nuke. Significantly slower, though, for some reason. Not really sure why. A few minutes later. Interesting. So this took almost like five, six times as long. Okay. So we have our track. We're going to edit our target, which is our tracker. We're going to apply over X and Y. So now we have our null tracked on there. And we're going to bring in our circle, scale it down again, like we did in our nuke example, attach it to our tracker, and we've tracked the circle into place. So still pretty fast, but nuke was definitely faster at doing a single point track, which considering this is like super simple, I thought that both of them would do it very fast, but I was surprised that After Effects took like six times longer to track. So what was the point of all this? Well, I wanted to start off with a very simple concept for an After Effects versus Nuke series, but I also wanted to prove a point that regardless of what software you're using, no matter how simple or complex the task is, you can pretty much handle it no problem if you know the steps to achieve the final result. Program agnostic, as Hugo Guerra likes to say, uh, which I totally 1000% agree with. So take point tracking, for example. It's a super simple task, but the steps are pretty much the same. You're going to go to the tracker window or the tracker node. You're going to set the point to the point of contrast that you're trying to track. You're going to track forward. Then you're going to set the information to a null or a tracker node. And then you're going to attach whatever object you want to that track. It's the same in both. So no matter how complicated the effect is you're trying to do, if you know the steps to achieve the result, you should be able to do it in any software. And that is the overarching message that I want to get across to any VFX artist. Learn the techniques and the skills, not so much the software. The software can come second. You will have a software of choice that you learn on, but if you really focus on how things work, you're gonna be so much better at learning. You're gonna be able to learn that much faster. And if new software comes out, or if you have to learn something for uh, a job that you just got hired for, and you have to jump from After Effects to Nuke or vice versa, you will be able to pick it up faster and it'll make you a better artist in the long run. So again, learn the skills and techniques and all the software stuff will follow, I promise. And you'll be a much better artist for it. 
So if you like this video and it gave you some value, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see a real After Effects versus Nuke sort of competition series happening, definitely leave a comment down below. It's something that I'd consider doing if more people were interested in, but it does take a long time to do something like that. So uh, definitely let me know in the comments. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.